The 173rd Fighter Wing, Oregon National Guard, located at Kingsley Field in Southern Oregon, provided spectators with an amazing experience. Century Eagle 2011. The open house event, conducted on July 23rd, provided a 20-minute demonstration on the flying capabilities of the F-15 fighter jet. This, combined with the largest air-to-air -air exercise conducted by the Air National Guard in 2011, provided top-notch visuals for over 10,000 folks from around the area. Ten states participated in this biannual event, an event that is hosted by the command of Kingsley Field, which is now the only F-15 schoolhouse in the United States. This is a huge day for the community and for Kingsley Field. Uh, we're expecting uh, 10 to 15,000 people to show up for the open house. We have 50 or more uh, fighter aircraft from around the country, as well as some tankers uh, and some other support airplanes, and a bunch of statics that we're hoping that the community come out and appreciate uh, what their Air Force does for the country. Although the open house happens only once every two years, the Air Base has a daily mission of training just over 40 F-15 pilots a year. Most students are male, but not this one. Meet First Lieutenant Carolyn White, the first female B Corps student flying the C model. First Lieutenant White gives a little advice for other females that would like to follow in her footsteps. Uh, I'd say, you know, you do have to have tough skin and you do have to be willing to put up with unusual uh, situations, but um, you have to have an open mind and a good attitude and um, if you're willing to work hard, then nothing's going to stand in your way. Regardless of age, rank, gender, or race, the pilots that come from Kingsley Field are truly the top guns of the Air Force, providing air superiority in any region of the world they may find themselves. And if you ever want to see these pilots in action, make it to Century Eagle 2013 in July. It's something you won't soon forget. Reporting from Kingsley Field, I'm Master Sergeant Tom Hogan.